Quentin Brears from the Bay of Plenty Rugby Union has kept us well informed as to the community club rugby season, which has come to an end with Tapuki taking out the title for the first time in 21 years. Here is Quentin to wrap up the season. Quentin, thanks for meeting with us today. Club rugby is done and dusted. Tell us, how did the finals go the other weekend where Tapuki came out trumps? Finals day was, was a really good day. Um, obviously, Tapuki Sports won the final uh, against Waka. Uh, first time in their history that in Tapuki Sports history that they've won the final, um, so obviously they were uh, very very happy with that. Um, they actually won the Colts final as well, so two championships in one day for that club. So it would have been a very very good night out in Tapuki Saturday night. So how huge is that win for Tapuki? Uh, it's 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 really good. I mean, you know, you've got other clubs in, in the union with a lot of Bay players, and um, for them to come through. And, and win it, I think it is really a really a big thing for them and um, hopefully it, it, the club can gather a bit of momentum from that. They've got a great cult set up and with their players and, and their management as well there so they should be getting a good flow on of, of young players going into that senior team because there's a few old guys in there now. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully they get a good, good flow on from the Colts team into the seniors and then obviously more young guys going to the club um, just to carry on that uh, whole momentum. So we have to keep an eye out on Tupuki next year. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they'll, they'll probably be looking to make it two in a row. So, yeah, exciting times for them. Fantastic. Now you have kept us well informed as to the progression of club rugby throughout the season. What have been some of the highlights for you? I think finals day was was a huge highlight for us. I mean, we got five games in one day. Um, we had close to three thousand people, spectators on the day, um, at a really good venue, Greater Marist. Um, we had awesome help from Western Bay uh, Subunion and also the club, so it was a huge community rugby day. Um, and yeah, just I can't speak highly enough of, of the help we got and, and uh, the support, especially from guys like Colin Burquist, who's a who's a volunteer for Bay of Plenty Rugby and, and uh, put so many hours in unpaid. It's it's really good to have him on board and uh, to help us through. So um, other things in. Uh, over the season that have, have been a highlight have been the, I think the Colts competition. Um, you know we get a lot of feedback from clubs saying that it's too widespread and um, it's, it's a huge cost for, for clubs to be travelling all around the Bay of Plenty for the Colts competition and it is but I still think there's a lot of really good rugby that comes out of that and it gets our young uh, Colts players playing uh, at, at, a, at a really good level and um, gives us good good uh, viewing to, to see players come through for the future. Mm. Excellent. Now if we look back to the beginning of the season, what development have there been with the players as the season has progressed? Um, a, a lot of the development in terms of, of players has been done up within the clubs. Um, we've had a bit of a shuffle around in the Bay of Plenty Rugby Union at the moment where, where a lot of our uh, high performance coaches and our um, academy manager that they've been taken through to the steamers and they've had to work with them this year so we've been a bit short on staff um, but you know we get out to clubs where we can and, and help out and, and uh, help with development most of our development in, in clubs has been with with uh, the coaches so our philosophy is that, that you need good coaches to make good players um, so we've got Paul Feeney our, our um, high performance coaching coordinator go uh, running a rugby course every year and so get, gets all those coaches in and upskills the coaches. We get out to trainings and try and get a, get to as many coaches as possible um, just to sort of flow on some good good habits into our players. So there's quite a lot of involvement on behalf of the rugby union and the clubs throughout yes, the region. Yep. Yep. Excellent. Now the finals are all done, what is next for the players? Is the season really over? For club rugby um, it's pretty much over, for bay wide rugby there are a few uh, other competitions that run at this time of the year. Um, we've got the Rose Bowl which is an, a club club rugby competition in, in the Western Bay which is being played now and um, so some of the clubs go into that. Uh, players can go on into Sevens Rugby now. There's numerous uh, tournaments around the country and the region Sevens, sevens Rugby. For the Rugby Union uh, we're, at the moment we're in our rep, rep season phase so uh, just starting our development team and our under 20s, under 18s and under 16s have just started their competitions so um, still a very busy time for us. Um, 
we've had a girls a secondary school girls team this year as well so they've been in Auckland for the last two weeks um, at tournaments up there so quite quite exciting and still very busy yeah, yeah. so rugby never really stops does it? No, it doesn't, <laughs> no and we've got obviously the World Cup coming up as well so yeah. uh, just moving into that phase too yeah. Now, a few weekends ago was the centenary celebrations. What did that mean to you? Um, th that was an awesome weekend. I mean, we, we had it on the same day as our the steamers played Hawks Bay, which was the 13th of August, and just to see all the old 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 players coming back and meeting up with their mates and that sort of thing. I think that's what it's all about, um, and uh, you know, catching up about old times and that sort of thing. It was it was awesome. They named the uh, centenary team. Um, which had some legends in there, so it was really good. I think the whole day went really, really well, except for obviously the result. The steamers <laughs> lost to Hawks, but yeah. 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 Now, talking about the steamers, they've lost 4 1 4, and they won to Canterbury on Tuesday night. This weekend, they're playing possibly for the Shield in Southland. What do you think their chances are? I think these chances of, of winning it in Southland are, are, are huge. I mean, and, and I think basically we, we have to win on Sunday anyway, but um, not too sure if it, the, if we're going to have a shield challenge. That depends on how Taranaki go against Southland today. So um, we'll, we'll have to see about that. See what yeah. happens. But yeah. currently, Steam is a third on the table. I think so. Yeah, third after last night. I know there's so many games at the moment, <laughs> and, and the positions change all the time. That um, it, it's hard to remember where. <laughs> we, who's who on the table so cool. I think we are third. Well Quentin thanks for coming on the show today and for being part of the Bay Penny Rugby segments throughout this rugby season and we look forward to seeing you next year. Yeah hopefully um, it's been really enjoyable coming over here and doing the interview so thank you. Well done to all the teams involved in the season and those who volunteered and helped make it what it was. After the break we go from sport to music with the tunes of the country.